hey guys welcome back so uh, hope you all are doing well so in this uh, particular video we will talk about uh, the reserve bank of india so rbi which generally work uh, as uh, the central bank for indian economy so being a central bank there are so many role and responsibilities which are generally uh, uh, maintained by uh, rbi so we will discuss these things about uh, in this particular video okay so this after this particular video you will know um, all about rbi so like we will talk about the basic history of rbi board of directors uh, major functions of rbi subsidiaries of rbi departments of rbi and all okay so um, uh, the only request to all of you guys please uh, do like and share this video so other can also watch and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe right so guys uh, whenever we talk about rbi it is generally known as uh, the central bank okay so in every country we have a central bank okay like uh, in us it is uh, federal reserve bank in china it is people's bank of china in japan it is uh, bank of japan uh, so similarly in india as well it is the uh, function of central bank that is generally performed by rbi and uh, being a central bank there are so many role and responsibilities which is generally uh, performed by reserve bank of india okay so uh, like it manages the overall banking system in the economy not only banking even uh, the other financial activities uh, like uh, money management or the liquidity management current currency printing regulation and supervision of banks and all so many time i hope you heard about these particular functions so today we will deep dive uh, the effects the structure of rbi or the everything about the reserve bank of india okay so we will start with the basic one like i hope you know uh, rbi was established on uh, 1st of april 1935 under rbi act 1934 so who was the recommendation committee for uh, uh, for the establishment of reserve bank of india so the answer is hilton young commission okay so um, these are some important facts related to rbi today my marker is not working so i highlight these particular one so rbi was uh, established on 1st of april 1935 under rbi act reserve bank of india act 1934 okay so uh, it was established on the recommendation of hilton young commission which was founded in 1926 okay so initially rbi headquarter was located in uh, uh, kolkata the then calcutta in 1937 it was uh, permanently shifted to mumbai so in so many time examiner asked this particular question okay so in 1937 rbi headquarter was permanently shifted to mumbai along with the headquarter rbi have four uh, local board offices regional offices and uh, 29 regional offices okay four local board plus 29 regional offices okay uh it was the initial capital of rbi was 5 crore rupees and this 5 crore divided by 10 each year and uh, so 5 lakh shares and all these shares belongs to government of india okay so the initial capital of stay, uh, reserve bank of india was 5 crore rupees and the 5 crore divided by 10 uh, face value of uh, per share was 10 rupees so total number is 5 lakh and all these 5 lakh shares belongs to government of india if you talk about the nationalization of rbi so it happens in uh, uh, 1949 or on 1st of january 1949 under the reserve bank of india transfer of uh, public ownership act 1948 please do remember this one sometimes student they got confused with the banking regulation act 1949 and uh, they generally think ki rbi was nationalized under br act 1949 but it was nationalized under RBI the transfer of uh, public ownership act 1948 with a minimum capital of or initial capital of 5 crore rupees okay so these are some basic facts which you need to know about uh, the introduction part being a central bank so these are the uh, basic things about uh, reserve bank of india okay so apart from this i'll show you a table so where uh, you will see the important dates or uh, years related to rbi okay so here you can see Uh, 4th of August 1926, Hilton Young Commission was uh, formed, or Hilton Young Commission, who generally represented their report towards um, RBI, and on the recommendations of this, RBI Act 1934 was passed on uh, 5th of March 1934. Okay, so Reserve Bank of India Act passed 
which provide a statutory basis to uh, basis the function uh, the bank functioning or uh, the reserve bank of india's day to day activities okay so rbi that generally works under or as per the uh, Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. Okay, and it was passed on uh, 5th of March 1934. First uh, of April 1935, finally their date came, and the Reserve Bank of India was established, being a uh, being a central bank. And first time, if you talk about the first governor of RBI, so that time when we created RBI as a central bank on the first of April 1935, so the governor of RBI was. Sir Osborne Smith. So Sir Osborne Smith was the first governor of Reserve Bank of India. Okay. So uh, and first Indian governor was C D Deshmukh. He was the third governor of R B I basically. But if you talk about the first Indian governor, it is uh, uh, C D Deshmukh. But first governor uh, was Sir Osborne Smith. Okay. On first of April nineteen forty seven. So previously. Before independence, RBI that generally provides central banking services to two other countries. One was Myanmar, and another one was Pakistan. So, uh, banking function in Burma, now uh, Myanmar, ceased with the um, termination of Part Two of the Burma Monetary um, Agreement. So, uh, RBI uh, prior to this, uh, prior. Uh, First April nineteen forty seven, RBI used to provide central banking services to Burma or Myanmar. So we seized that particular one on thirtieth of June nineteen forty eight. So uh, previously we need to we also or RBI also provide uh, banking services to Pakistan, central banking services to Pakistan. So it it was also seized on this particular date. Okay, first of July, first of January nineteen forty nine, RBI was nationalized under. Uh, RBI Transfer of Public Ownership Act 1948 and first 16 March 1949 statutory liquidity ratio that is known as SLR so SLR was introduced on uh, 16th of March 1949 okay so it's a reserve ratio which generally bank have to maintain with itself okay in the form of cash gold and government securities we already discussed this one in our monetary policy unit so these are some important dates and years um, about monet uh, reserve bank of india or the rbi history okay some other fact as well so as i earlier told you cd deshmukh was the first uh, indian governor of rbi as uh, as earlier mentioned uh, osborne smith was the first governor of rbi first indian governor was cd deshmukh he was the third governor of rbi rbi was also the central bank for uh, myanmar and uh, pakistan and we see these particular one in 1947 for myanmar and 1948 for pakistan Manmohan Singh was is uh, uh, the only prime minister to has uh, to have also served as governor of RBI Reserve Bank of India he was uh, he is also finance he was also finance minister or prime minister and he is the only finance minister prime minister who also served the post of RBI governor okay so hope these particular facts are clear now um, if you talk about the powers of RBI so there are two major act which are generally in which generally provide rbi powers or the functioning of rbi is generally based on uh, these two act one is rbi act 1934 another one is banking regulation act 1949 okay so it generally provide rbi supervision and control over commercial banks and along with this uh, licensing and uh, establishment of banks okay so if let's say if you want to start banking business in india so you have to file your application with the um, reserve bank of india okay so rbi that generally provides certain guidelines if you fulfill that particular guidelines those guidelines so you will be able to uh, start banking business in india okay so branch expansion if any bank existing bank want to expand their branches so rbi will give license liquidity of their assets okay how you how you have to maintain your uh, uh, liquid asset in your organizations management and method of working so day to day working of banks amalgamation and mergers of banks or branches uh, reconstruction and liquidations of assets these are some major functions or major powers which is generally given to rbi as per uh, rbi act 1934 and uh, banking regulation act 1949 so when will come to the functions of uh, rbi we will deep dive these particular one okay first we will discuss the 
uh, overall structure of uh, the RBI or the central bank. Then we'll come to the uh, these points or the working areas and all. Okay, next point is offices of RBI. So as I earlier told you, so RBI headquarter is located in Mumbai and it was permanently shifted to Mumbai in 1937. Earlier it was in Calcutta. Now it is known as Kolkata. Okay, so when we started RBI in 1935, Calcutta was the major business hub. So the RBI headquarter was that time located in Calcutta. Now in 1937, it was permanently um, shifted to Mumbai. So now headquarter is located in Mumbai. So the central office is basically where RBI governor, uh, the, the office of RBI governor, as well as the board of directors that generally belongs to RBI. And they formulate policies about Indian banking system or towards the bank. Okay. Along with headquarter, RBI have four uh, zonal offices. Okay, or local board offices, they also known as local board offices, they, they generally belongs to uh, these metropolitan cities. Okay, so whenever we talk about metropolitan cities in India, so these are the four major cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. So along with the um, RBI head office, RBI have uh, four uh, local board offices or journal offices. These are located in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. And uh, uh, we have 27 regional offices and four sub offices for these uh, regional offices. Okay, so sub offices are also known as divisional offices. So RBI, along uh, apart from uh, head office or four local board offices, 27 regional offices and sub offices. The total number is 31. Okay, so most of regional offices are uh, uh, in the uh, capital uh, state capital, like for uh, Uttarakhand, it is located in Dehradun. Or um, for Uttar Pradesh, we have in uh, uh, Lucknow or re uh, sub office in uh, Kanpur. So this way we have a number of offices of RBI. Okay, State Bank of India act as an agent uh, of RBI state where RBI does not have its offices. So this is a very important point. Okay, so let's say if there is any state where RBI do not have their own offices. So State Bank of India will work as an agent for uh, RBI in that particular state. Okay. So hope this is clear. So if you see the reporting and uh, uh, re re order and reporting uh, things. So order is generally passed by the central office or uh, uh, the, the headquarter of RBI, which is located in uh, Mumbai. So RBI Mumbai office will pass on this particular order to four local board offices, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai. Then these local board offices will pass on that particular order to uh, 27 regional and sub offices. Okay. If you talk about uh, regional and sub offices will pass on that particular order to banks. Okay. So now these banks will banks role is reporting. So bank will report to regional office, regional office to local board office, local board office to head office. So this way the entire working of RBI is generally defined. Okay. And Along with these particular offices, RBI have number of departments. So nowadays it is uh, 30 departments. Okay, if you visit the RBI website, you will find there are 30 departments of RBI which generally help RBI to, uh, uh, to perform their role and responsibilities. Because like if you see Indian economy, so we are a large economy. We are seven largest um, uh, in term of geographical area. So. Uh, uh, we have number of banks and financial uh, institution in the system. So to properly manage these one or to achieve the end goal of RBI. So RBI created number of departments. So the, these numbers are 30. So here we will discuss about some important departments like uh, Department of Currency Management which generally works toward the um, issuance or uh, the management of currency in Indian economy. Payment and settlement. I hope you remember that um, PSS Act uh, 2007, Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. NPCA is major organization under this one. Okay. Uh, financial Inclusion and Development Department. We have Foreign Exchange Department. We have Monetary Policy Department. So these are out of 30. These are the topmost departments with, like which has the uh, uh, key roles in Indian economy or uh, towards the banking system of India. Okay. First one is currency management department so it generally work uh, the um, uh, management of currency note design uh, the currency note design printing timely supply of currency notes and uh, withdrawal of uh, currency note and distribution of coins okay coins are generally designed and manufactured by government of india so we have uh, four different different uh, 
coin minting places in India. Okay, but currency note, everything related to note, like their design, printing, or the overall supply management is generally done by uh, Reserve Bank of India under. Uh, this is generally done by a department of currency management under RBI. Okay, and even the distribution of coins is also done by RBI. So we have different different currency chest in India. So through with the help of these currency chests, RBI that generally manage or circulate the currency system in India. Okay, department of payment and settlement system. So it is um, a separate department of RBI which generally founded in uh, March uh, two thousand five. It generally take care about the online digital payments uh, things in India. Like NPCA is major uh, entity which generally work as an umbrella organization for retail payment and settlement in India. Okay, it is a separate entity. It is registered under Companies Act two thousand thirteen. But it generally help. Okay, this department that generally provide guidelines for NPCA as well. Okay, so policy formulation uh, in respect to payment and settlement. authorization of payment and settlement uh, system in operators let's say if you start if you willing to start some uh, payment tools in india like upi phone pay and all so this department will give you uh, the license okay regulation of payment and settlement system in india supervision and monitoring of payment and settlement in india so that is generally the, the, these pay, uh, these retail payment system or settlements in india is generally take care by department of payment and settlement system in india next one we have financial inclusion and uh, development departments which generally uh, uh, which generally do the research and development in indian economy about uh, finance or about the financial inclusion or it generally study the development of uh, uh, they require development in different different areas how the financial inclusion is really working so these things are generally taken care by this particular one so to for to formulate micro policy to strengthen credit flow uh, to the priority sectors like um, agriculture small scale industries weaker section uh, renewable energy or those eight sectors okay to ensure uh, that priority sector lending become a tool for uh, the uh, bank to capture uh, untapped business uh, opportunities among the um, financially uh, excluded section of the society so that psl norms is again that the generally part of or the uh, proper implementations of psl guidelines is generally comes under financial inclusion and development department okay next one we have forex uh, department foreign exchange department so uh, foreign exchange regulation act 1973 now it is generally known as fema act uh, 1999 foreign exchange management act 1999 so it generally take care about the overall guidelines related to a uh, forex business in india okay and it generally comes under forex uh, or foreign exchange department under rbi okay so the objective is to smoothen the overall forex transaction in indian economy to give license to entities um, uh, as authorized dealer so like if you have to uh, exchange your um, currency in some foreign currencies so you can easily do that okay and even to provide guidelines toward these authorized dealers how they work and all and uh, to, to protect the interest of um, consumers those who generally dealing in forex market okay next one we have monetary policy department i hope you heard about this so many time like they generally meet on bi monthly basis or they come with uh, the current liquidity status in indian economy or they generally manage the overall liquidity in indian economy we can say okay with targeting uh, the price stability or to control inflation growth uh, in indian economy to create uh, employments and all okay so mpc monetary policy committee uh, assist the mpc in formulation of monetary policy and it provide technical input to the mpc such as uh, short term and uh, long term inflation projection so it basically provide the data towards the overall liquidity in indian economy uh, the current uh, inflation rates and how what is the expectations in the future and the current growth prospect of indian economy so these all data is generally provided by department um, the monetary department of rbi and uh, which generally assists to monetary policy committee which is a team of six members including rbi governor okay so these were these are uh, the uh, major uh, departments of rbi which like as i told you uh, the role or uh, role and responsibilities of rbi are like we have so many responsibilities which is generally performed by rbi 
and uh, if you study the demographic of india so we have uh, like we are the seventh largest economy in the world or we have second largest population size in the world so to cater all part of india we need different different departments those who working in different different areas okay so we study we have 30 departments as of now for rbi those generally assist rbi to perform uh, uh, to perform well or to achieve their end goal or mission and vision okay now we'll talk about the uh, central board of directors okay or it is also known as uh, team rbi so central board of directors there are number of members which are generally part of central board of directors okay so these are like rbi governor uh, we have uh, four deputy governors four member from local board offices 10 member from ministry uh, government of india okay two member from ministry of finance so this way we created a team who generally help rbi to make decisions okay reserve bank of india uh, is governed um, uh, governed by the uh, central board of directors so the entire things or the decision making is generally governed by the uh, 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 by by this particular board only okay and uh, the board is appointed by government of india keeping with the reserve bank of india act 1934 appointed and nominated nominated for a period of 4 years okay so the board is uh, the uh, central board of rbi or the central board of directors that generally govern rbi workings in india so and it is uh, work under rbi 1934 and uh, appointed as as per the RBI 1934 and it is appointed by government of India for four years. Governor and deputy governors are appointed under section 8 uh, 1A of the RBI 1934. So sometimes examiner they generally test these particular uh, sections as well. So that, that's why I keep these one. Official director, full time directors if you talk about. So we have governor and uh, not more than four deputy governors so one governor and four deputy governors so at a time you'll find maximum four deputy governor of rbi sometimes like due to some retirement and all it is three you'll find three or two but it is not more than uh, four okay uh, non-official 10 member from government of india they are generally nominated from different different fields it it, it is include uh, the corporate houses or the private corporate houses as well okay Four director from local board offices. So we have four local board offices of RBI, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai. So most of the time their head is generally part of team RBI. Okay. Two member from Ministry of Finance. So this way we have all these uh, like four, five, five plus 10, 15 plus uh, four, uh, 19 or uh, two, 21. So our team RBI is a, uh, we can say it is a, 21 member team generally take decisions about RBI's uh, working or even sometimes they, uh, they, they come with some new solution regarding the latest problems, okay? So as of now, if you talk about the, uh, cent, uh, the team RBI's major pillars, so RBI governor Sri Sakti Das and four deputy governors, so these are the four deputy governors, Mahesh Kumar Jain, Michael Devrath Patra, M. Rajeshwar Rao and T. Ravi Sankar. So, M. K. Jain and Michael Devatra, they generally reappointed last year for next uh, three years. Okay. So, they are generally like RB governor is generally appointed for a maximum period of three years. Then, after that, we generally go for reappointment. Similarly, for the uh, deputy governors as well. Okay. So, this is the overall board of RBI, which generally help RBI to. Uh, uh, to made uh, to make right decisions about the Indian banking system. Now, along with this department teams and all, so RBI they have some subsidiaries as well. So what is subsidiary? It is part of RBI. The decision or they are generally owned by RBI and uh, uh, the, these are like uh, the maximum ownership in these organizations are generally belongs to Reserve Bank of India, but they are a separate entity. So to deal with the different different areas, RBI have created, uh, as of now, we have four subsidiaries of RBI. Previously, we have fifth one that was NHB, National Housing Bank, which was later on, it was, uh, it, it is generally taken care by, uh, it is uh, taken uh, by uh, government of India. So it, it is a National Housing Bank and 20th, 24th of April 19, uh, 2019, it was, uh, taken over by uh, government of India. So now it belongs to government of India and these four are generally belongs to RBI. So we have four major subsidiaries of RBI. One is DICGC, 
Deposit Insurance and Credit Guarantee Corporation. I hope you heard about this one so many times. Okay, it generally provide uh, deposit insurance or it it generally provide insurance to our deposits with banks. Okay, Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited, which generally works toward the uh, currency printing or the overall management of currency. Okay, Reserve Bank of India IT Information Technology. So all IT related solutions are generally provided by. Uh, uh reserve bank of india information technology private limited financial in uh, indian financial technology and allied services iftas that generally provide uh, the communications related to banking business in india okay so we will go through these one one by one so first one is dicgc it was founded on uh, uh, 15th of july 1978 under dicgc act 1961 okay so do remember this act as well. So many times examiner they generally ask question based on act as well. Headquarter is located in Mumbai and chairman. If you talk about the chairman of all subsidiaries, so most of the time you will find the deputy governor of RBI. They generally own these, but uh, they generally had these uh, uh, subsidiaries. Okay. So deputy governor of RBI currently uh, uh, Michael De Devrath Patra, who generally uh, lead the uh, DICGC, and current insurance limit is rupees. 5 lakh okay so let's say um, if you have a deposit with any xyz bank and that bank let's say you have a, a 3 lakh rupees in uh, that particular um, uh, bank okay in your saving account and 50000 is the uh, overall interest from last 10 years 15 years okay so the total principal and interest is uh, 3 lakh 50000 okay so if that particular bank become defaulter so you can approach dicgc and dicgc will provide you that uh, remaining um, uh, that principal plus interest which is 3.5 lakh rupees as uh, your uh, deposit protector okay so the maximum limit is uh, 5 lakh rupees okay so let's say if in your account there is 7 lakh rupees so dicgc will pay you only 5 lakh rupees if 50000 they'll pay you only 50000 okay it include principal as well as interest but the maximum limit is only rupees 5 lakh okay so it generally work under dicgc act 1961 and it is established uh, for um, providing insurance uh, of deposit and guaranteeing the credit facility okay so like uh, uh, there are so many times there are number of banks who become defaulter so in that particular case dicgc that generally is uh, that generally trying to protect these small depositors in indian economy okay next one we have bharti reserve bank note mudran private limited it is like as the name is state so note mudran private limited so note mudran means where we generally print currencies okay so uh, it was established on um, 3rd of february 1995 the headquarter of um, BRB and MPL is located in uh, Bangalore and it has two presses. Okay, one is Mysuru, another one is Salboni. So, if you talk about the total currency or uh, printing presses in India, so we have four presses. Okay, these are located in Devas, Nasik, Mysuru, and Salboni. But uh, Devas and Nasik printing press are generally owned by government of India. And Mysuru and Salboni, Mysuru in Karnataka, Salboni in West Bengal, these are generally owned by government of, uh, sorry, uh, RBI under Bharatiya Reserve Bank Node Mudran Private Limited. So you can go through this one as well. So we have four printing presses in India. So one is Nasik, another one is Devas. So Nasik and Devas one is generally owned by government of India. And Mysuru and Salboni, these are generally owned by RBI under Bharatiya Reserve Bank Node Mudran Private Limited. Okay. So two of currency printing press are owned by government of India and two is uh, by Reserve Bank of India. So this is, these are generally owned by RBI. Uh, government of India own uh, these particular one. So as we uh, uh, earlier discussed this particular data. So do remember these names. So all four names as well as their ownership belongs to. Okay. So um, if you talk about the currency printing thing in India. So these are th some important facts related to um, currency printing. So Nasik and Devas are owned by government of India uh, under section 22 of banking Reg RBI 1934. Reserve Bank of India is uh, solely responsible for um, managing currency note expect rupees 1. So uh, rupees cur currency note rupees 2 and above is generally uh, printed and minted by printed by um, RBI Reserve Bank of India. Okay. And currency rupees note 1 
is only uh, printed by government of india under ministry of finance or ministry of finance under government of india this data is again very important one so the highest denomination of currency note in india is rupees 10000 as per section 22 of rbi act 1934 okay so as per section 22 of rbi act 1934 the maximum denomination of currency note can be rupees 10 uh, 20000 like as of now we have 2000 rupees it can be or rbi can print up to 20000 uh, 10000 okay so uh, bank of india was reserve bank of india was 10000 in 1938 demonetized uh, this one okay like uh, uh, we have three time de demonetized in 1946 we demonetized 10 10000 rupees currency note in 1966 rbi that generally uh, demonetized um, rupees uh, 1000 5000 or 10000 currency note in 2016 rbi uh, demonetized uh, rupees 500 and 1000 currency note okay so if the examiner ask you the maximum denomination so your answer will be 10000 in case of coin it is 1000 rupees okay so rupees 10000 was um, again introduced in uh, 1954 and it was demonetized in 1970 not in 1966 okay so we have three time demonetization one is 1946 another one is uh, 1978 and third one or the latest one is 2016 as well okay so maximum currency denomination or uh, note uh, currency denomination can be 10000 or for coin it is 1000 next uh, subsidiary is ifitas so indian financial technology and allied services it was founded in 2016 and headquarter is located in mumbai so to manage and operate the financial messaging system in india okay let's say we have swift uh, swift is uh, society for worldwide interbank financial te telecommunication i hope you heard about this particular one so it generally manages messaging thing across the world okay so let's say if you do some remittances uh, from us so your account got debited and credited this thing is generally managed by swift but in india let's say you withdraw 5000 rupees from your account instantly you get a message your account has been debited by 5000 rupees so this message or this messaging thing is generally managed by uh, iftas in india okay so uh, 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 comp if you if you talk about this one so neft rtgs and other things or payment uh, settlement networks so these are uh, infinite uh, Uh, that in entire infinite system is only managed by ifitas in india okay next when we have reserve bank of india information technology so information or all it related assistance is generally provided by ifta um, reserve bank of india information technology or private limited okay it was established in 2016 and headquarter is located in uh, new uh, navi mumbai okay so uh, objective is to take care it requirements including cyber security need of rbi so it generally manages uh, uh, cyber security uh, research and innovation technology related system audit and project management of rbi so these are some major functions which is generally performed by uh, rebit or that is generally known as reserve bank of india technology private limited okay i hope you get this particular thing as well now we'll talk about functions of rbi this is very simple one okay so many time i hope you read about the functions of rbi so uh, it will help you uh, in your written examination as well as in interview so these functions should be on your fingertips like whenever we talk about functions of rbi so being a central bank there are so many functions which is generally performed by uh, rbi like uh, supervision and monitoring of banks regulation of financial system or banks uh, currency printing kyc regulation bankers to the bank bankers to the government of india lenders of the last reserve uh, is a custodian of exchange forex management so there are so many functions which are generally performed by rbi being a central bank so here we will discuss some important one or still if you have any problem with any area you can mention in comment section okay but these functions are the most important and you have to remember these function like during interview uh, that interviewer they generally ask tell me the five functions of rbi so this way you can uh, you can run your interview okay so if you remember the top 5 so let's say you mention issuer of currency okay so now the cross question is will based on the uh, whatever point you pick okay so issuance of currency or monetary policy regulation then interviewer will ask question based on whatever you deliver okay 
so you need a clarity about these particular things okay so uh, main functions of rbi is to formulate a um, monetary policy so monetary policy regulation or formulation is generally done by reserve bank of india with the help of mpc monetary policy committee and with the help of monetary policy rbi that generally manages liquidity in the indian economy often targeting uh, the uh, often targeting the uh, inflation rate or the price stability in indian economy and economic growth and as well as a lower unemployment rate okay so we already did a video on uh, monetary policy i hope you remember regulate and supervise uh, the financial system so to provide guidelines to find the loopholes in system and to repair them so this is the role and responsibility of rbi manage indian forex market so forex market is again uh, taken care by rbi as per fema act foreign exchange management act 1999 issuance of currency so the currency management or the overall supply of money in indian economy is again managed by rbi so printing of currency and all these things uh, bankers to the bank if any bank need any kind of assistance like loan or other things so that is generally provided by rbi so like we have repo rate or we have msf we read about uh, the uh, 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 we we read about open market of op not open market operation repo rate reverse repo rate or sdf so these are generally tools bank uh, ban bankers to the government of india like open market operation so when government of india need any financial uh, requirement so that is also fulfilled by rbi development role in the economy so uh, rbi also uh, fulfill the uh, development requirements of indian economy so as per the requirement they generally come up with the new schemes okay regulate and supervise the payment and settlement system in india or the payment related entities so uh, apart from that exchange management we already discussed um, supervisory regulation of banking system and kyc regulation so guidelines related to kyc that generally comes under section 35a of uh, banking regulation act 1949 so the regulated entities or the key things related like if you if any customer is uh, interacting with indian banking system so these are the basic requirements and these requirements are generally set by reserve bank of india and timely on timely manner they generally all um, they generally revise uh, these particular guidelines as well okay currency we already discussed this particular thing so um, uh, currency if you talk about the uh, rupees one note and number of coins so these are generally belongs to the authority is generally belongs to government of india ministry of finance under government of india and rupees two note and above are uh, printed by uh, rbi okay and uh, if you talk about the signatory authority in case of rupee one you will find the finance secretary in case of rupees uh, two and above you will find rbi governor okay and the maximum denomination for currency note is 10000 rupees and for coin it is 1000 rupees coin are generally minted as per uh, coin is act 2011 okay previously it was 2010 and currency note are generally printed as per rbi act 1934 section 22 okay so this is these are the important things related to currency which generally examiner ask in your examination okay and the currency printing method we use that is known as minimum reserve ratio so minimum reserve ratio is generally used uh, to identify the need of uh, new currency in indian economy or even it will also help you to uh, just the overall supply of money in indian economy so whenever rbi they generally uh, print or issue new currencies they generally make some reserve okay that is um, that is generally known as minimum reserve ratio so it is 200 crore rupees reserve 135 is to 85 okay uh, next one is 120 is to 80 okay next one is major act which are generally administrated by rbi so these are the act which is which generally work with rbi okay so reserve bank of india act 1934 or rbi we can say rbi work accordance to these particular one uh, public debt act 1980 uh, 1944 now it is known as government securities act 2006 government securities regulation act uh, 2007 banking regulation act 1949 FEMA Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999, a Sec uh, Surface Act 2002, Securitization and Reconstruction of Financial Asset and uh, Enforcement of Security Interest. Okay, and uh, uh, Credit Information Companies Regulation Act 2005, and we have uh, Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. So these act are again uh, 
uh, administrated by RBI and uh, like if any changes happen with this particular one so that is again uh, done by uh, board of directors of RBI okay so or uh, even they generally propose that particular changes right so uh, guys uh, in this video we generally uh, discuss all about uh, the RBI I hope uh, you enjoy the entire video so if you like please uh, do share with your friends and tell them to subscribe my channel so uh, uh, we can reach to a uh, number of people okay and uh, if you are new to my channel please uh, do subscribe uh, my channel and if you uh, have any suggestion towards this particular content so do mention in comment section so i'll definitely work on those particular areas and uh, do share your uh, feelings uh, about uh, this channel so how uh, how i am doing okay and if you have any suggestion feel free to ask okay so just mention in comment section i'll try to resolve those areas so today my uh, marker was not working so that's why i uh, try to uh, highlight things and all i hope you enjoy this particular thing as well so uh, my idea is ki uh, like uh, if you have uh, like if you preparing for any government job in india or even not only government job like for bank promotion examination or any private entity and all so these are some fundamentals so i am providing you the fundamental video and what kind of question you may face based on these one so i already did a video so you can watch and you can test your preparation okay so this is it from my side thank you for watching this uh, video uh, hope you enjoy so i'll see you soon with a new video thank you for the watching bye bye take care all have a nice day thank you